Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Well, it's just us. We can't go back. Let's go upstairs. Whoa! What the heck was that? Jeez! Like, where's I go? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I go looks pissed. Oh, she doesn't look happy. Oh, hey, it's still in time. Dagger, I'm sorry. I don't know why I wasn't honest with you. And I go has to be here for this. Sorry, I go. Sedane, you really made a big mess, didn't we? No, I mean, you. You kind of were just trying to help, but the freaking stupid evil eyeball. We'll talk later. Let's get out of here. The process still continues after thousands of years. Eventually, these circulating souls will no longer belong to Gaia. They must never be circulated back. Kuja did well, if only he had lasted longer. I never imagined he would choose to end his remaining days on Gaia. Perhaps this was his fate, set in ages past. I, too, cannot escape my fate. Someday, I must face your counterpart. So, Lindblom got sucked up by Atomos. Odin completely obliterated Clara. Vermicia was not destroyed completely, but its citizens were completely murdered by the Black Mages. And now the frickin' evil Eyeball took out Alexandria, and we know that Eyeball was involved with Medane Sari. So literally, like, every human area has been devastated by Kuja and this Garland guy. What the frick? As you can see, the reconstruction is moving right along. Good. We've started building airship number three. It's going well, too. Quack! Many engineers from the Industrial District have volunteered. The former Industrial District? Our people are so strong. I never realized until now. They have faith in you, Regent. That is why they can be strong. They are proud to be citizens of Lindblom. Yeah, does your castle have a secret in it? Ah, ah, Joe! Oh, Baku. Hey, Regent. What's going on? I'm tired from working day and night on a new airship. Hey, why don't you come by the research center and give us a hand sometime? 
And you're talking to both of us? I just sneeze and interrupt people and make snarky remarks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We already have enough people. Quack! Working on it. Uh oh. Do you know how Zidane's doing? He's fine. In fact, he's probably awake now. Like, go to the castle and see how he's doing. Oh, and tell him to come to my room. <laughs> Blank's like, why? Well, I guess we survived. Dagger? Aiko? Oh, so I finally somebody remembers Aiko. How did I get here? And... We finally get to go back and get stuff. Well, we just got this, but I already have all this stuff. And I still want the bone wrist because it ups the strength. And I want that to be upped as often as I can get it to be. Any items? Any items? Do, 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 do. Alright, an elixir. So Alexandria is destroyed. I'm glad Limblum got rebuilt. I don't like Fossil Roo. Can I ask you a favor? Oh, were you at Fossil Roo? Want you to deliver a letter to Moodin. Thanks. Sounds good. Cool. Just want to be sure. Save. Save, save, save. We gotta say goodbye to Alexandria. But yeah, that is the last time that you get to be in a, well, functioning, properly functioning city. <laughs> At least for a while. Alright, we already got that down here. Oh, Zidane. So, how are you feeling? Okay, I guess. By the way, uh, if you ask this, you will miss out on an ATE, so where's Dagger? We have a one-tracked mine. Do you know where Dagger is? No, I haven't seen her. Maybe she's upstairs by the telescope? Oh yeah, bye! Man, isn't there anything on his mind besides girls? Well, maybe these days it's just one girl. Uh oh. What could this be? Oh no! <laughs> Kida! This does not look good. What are you talking about? Yeah, whatever it is, I think it's dead. Um, I mean, I can clearly see Kina moving a little bit. Unless they're poking Kina. Uh, hey, you're supposed to be on duty. Wow, look how clear it is. Because before, there was just nothing but mist at the, at the dock. But now it's like really clear. And it looks like the water is all bubbling and stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but we found this weird thing by the shore. Step aside. Did we really need to have Kina at this point? I used to be a sea dog, so I know a thing or two about these things. It's dead. <laughs> no, you don't know anything about these things. Uh, Kina is not a sea creature. Not in this version. Go find a doctor right away. <laughs> oh, Kina. Yep, yep, they're like, right away. I'll be damned. They got their butts moving in a hurry. It's about time I started getting some respect around here. Yeah, I bet Kina has a lot of opinions. Uh, ah. What is this? Oh, I'm so hungry. Well, sorry, Kina. That really sucks. Hey, Aaron. We now have the technology to fly without mist, but we don't have an airship. It's so sad. It is. Hopefully soon. You'll get your chance, Aaron. Okay. Now make sure not to make any detours. Go straight to Dagger. That's what I'm seeing here. I wonder how Dagger feels about everything that happened. I mean, she looked really upset. Like, there was a moment where I kind of, like, slowed down... And her face was just... I mean, she did everything she could to protect Alexandria. She even used summon magic to protect it, but there are forces at work that seem to be beyond us. 
Well, look who's here. Man, we went through some crazy stuff, huh? I honestly didn't think I was going to make it this time. But as you can see, I'm alright now. Dagger? Is something wrong? Uh, a lot of things are wrong, man. Oh, okay. You're so happy to see me, you don't know what to say. I didn't know you loved me so- Oh, Zidane. Don't be weird about it. Did I do something wrong? Alright, what did I do wrong? Maybe she's just tired. A lot has happened since Bran's death. Yeah, that was kind of a triple whammy for Dagger. She discovered that she's the adoptive child of her mom, and that her mom is just her adoptive mom, but that she lost another mom and another set of parents, and she now she's lost two sets of parents, and Bran died, and she attempted to take the throne, and then, like, within a few... Not even... I don't even think the coronation had happened. She immediately... the the whole, her whole kingdom destroyed. I'd better cheer her up. Hey, let's go check out the town. It'll be fun, come on. Wow. She really does not want to talk to you. I think she's starting to get annoyed. Maybe I should leave her alone. I guess you have a lot on your mind right now. Sorry to bother you. I'll see you later. Today. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't blame her for being depressed. So my bad. This is the AT you would have missed if you hadn't asked about Dagger. Damn. I forgot to tell him to go to Sid's room. He's probably still upstairs yapping away. Damn. Ooh, can you guys hear that? Is it crunch crunch? Nope. Okay. I better leave her alone. Oh, He finally gets a chance to talk to her and be like, I love you, Dagger. And he doesn't get to anything. Anything. I agree. This does seem to be the best place. Well, that's too bad. Because I'm really, really looking forward to some juicy stuff. About time. Yo. What? Are you following me or something? Hey, I don't have time to play around like you. I forgot to tell you something earlier. Yeah, what? Jeez. What's with you? Oh. You had a fight with her, huh? Shut up. None of your damn business. <laughs> Take it easy. Sid said he wants to talk to you. He's in the royal chamber. What does he want? I don't know. Okay, bye, blank. All right. Yeah, we didn't have a fight. She just doesn't want to talk to me at all, ever. Uh, I think we go up first, and you can't just go in. You have to talk to these guys. Blah, blah, blah. The hero has awakened. I heard you wanted to see me. What's up? After reviewing the attack on Alexandria, we've discovered some interesting facts. Facts I think you all should know. Brag. The others are waiting in the conference room. So why did we meet up here? We can begin the meeting at any time. Alright, let's begin. Well, shoot. Please follow me. Why did... I... whatever. I mean, I guess we're the de facto leader, but... Ooh! Ooh! That's a fun, uh, throne. Is that everyone? We are still missing the princess. She's probably upstairs by the telescope. Ooh, I'll go get her! Wait! Oh, oh well. Let's begin. Where should I start? Self-reproach. Alexandria is gone. I still can't believe it. So many people were killed. 
the survivors are homeless and destitute. How could this have happened? Maybe I shouldn't have listened to Aiko and summoned Alexander. No, it's not her fault. It's my fault. I never should have run away from home. I got everyone involved in this. Zidane, Vivi, Steiner, everyone. Had I stayed with Mother, maybe I could have stopped her. It's all my fault. I, I shouldn't have assumed the throne. I thought I could make amends, but... I've only brought misery to everyone. What am I going to do now? Well, yeah. Seems to put it lightly. She's, uh... She's looking at every point and, and considering it a mistake. I mean, that's really relatable. I think a lot of us go through that, where we get to a point in our lives where we're just looking at every single major, minor decision and we're like, we ruined our own lives or ruined the people around us. Ah, uh, the town is now in shambles. Many innocent lives were lost. Whack. I can imagine. Her Highness is probably beyond despair. I have never witnessed such a tragedy. There was nothing we could do. We fought with everything we had, but to no avail. Beatrix and I were prepared to give our lives. I don't know what happened to her. Kind of left her dead in that battle. We have spent much time and effort rebuilding Limblum. But I believe it will take much longer for our people to overcome their losses. Those who survived have a long, tough road ahead of them. Bermissia, Clara, Lindblom, now Alexandria. Kuja has vanquished all four nations. What is he trying to accomplish? Who knows? Let's just go get him. Huh. It's not that easy. Kuja's powers are beyond ours. How do you plan to fight him? Kuja is a man of many my mysteries, indeed. And I still can't believe what I saw when we were evacuating from Alexandria. What? What did you see? I saw him escape on my stolen airship, Hildegard 1. Quack! There were black mages on board, too. They weren't any old black mages. They were talking normally. No! No way. I mean, Kuja is pretty... He's got the silver tongue, so he may have convinced them to join him. Are you sure about this? There's no doubt. Why? Why are they with Kuja? I mean, we didn't really tell them. Deep anger. We didn't really exp Oh. Well, shit. That is a nice looking airship. That blast almost destroyed our ship. For a second, I thought I was... <laughs> what am I thinking? What can that old fool do to me? He can't kill me. Nothing can. Ooh, so you're immortal. Is that why you wear such a uh, lack of clothes? Besides, he's too late. The wheels are already in motion. Oh, well. There are black mages. That is a nice looking airship. I am jealous. Let him interfere. Oh, all right. So, so I mean, this this does line up with your uh, resume. What happened? Terrible injuries you have suffered. Shut up. If I can't have Alexander, so be it. I'll find another Idolan soon enough. Hey, you. I am Mr. 234. Shut up, I didn't ask for your number. Are the preparations complete? Yes. It's about time. <laughs> Zidane, your role in my play is far from over. I'm gonna go rest now. Get back to work. So we need to get wherever he is. And he's got the two twin clowns with him. So, basically, your wife got mad at you and used magic to turn you into... Oh, so he told everybody. <laughs> it's going to become common knowledge, I guess. 
sad story, isn't it? My lecherous character has led to my undoing. But how did Kuja get a hold of Lady Hilda's airship? Ack. That's what I'd like to know. He probably commandeered it to further his mad schemes, whatever they may be. In any case, I must get Hilda and her airship back somehow. Quack! Assuming she's alive. What a shame for a ruler to end up like this. Yeah, mine got exploded, so... But we can't ignore this situation. Kuja must be stopped. Indeed, we must deal with him before it is too late. It's easier said than done. We don't know where he is. We don't have even have an airship to look for him. He's right. Number two is still quack. Out of commission. I don't think it was ever in commission. And I doubt I can oversee the construction of a new airship in my current form. If only I were quack. A man again. Artania, is anything? Is there anything that can be done? I have spoken to Dr. Tot regarding this matter and asked him to join us. He should be here any minute. As in this minute. That's wonderful. I'm certain Dr. Tot will be most helpful. I'm sorry I'm late. I don't remember your voice. Please forgive me for calling you on such short notice, Doctor. Thank you very much for giving up your precious time to come here. He doesn't have any more time. Alexandra's literally been kaputed. Please, Minister, you don't need to be so formal. That doesn't sound right. I heard what happened in Alexandria. I am so relieved to see you all again. Oh, I guess he was in Trino. We kind of just left him there. Hmm? Where's the princess? Aiko is missing, too. Are they all right? Don't worry, Doc. They're all right. Aiko's out looking for Dagger right now. Oh, I see. Well, that's a relief. So, Dr. Todd, I was wondering. Hey, guys. Jeez, what's up? Oh, ho, ho, I see you are as energetic as ever. It's Dagger. She's... What? What's wrong? I think she's lost her voice. She can't talk anymore. What? What? Just come with me. She's in the guest room. Wait, hold on. I'll be back in a minute. Come on, Doc. I'm coming too! Let's postpone this meeting. I agree, sire. We will resume this meeting later. Zidane, report back to me after you find out more about her condition. Apparently I'm under Sid now. I mean, that's fine. Well, let's go check up on Dagger. Who do I got with me? Just me. Oh, nope, not that way. Whoops. Oops. Alright. Middle. Dagger, I'm coming to save you! She's lost her voice. I mean, so in that moment when her, when uh, in that FMV as Alexandria was being destroyed, she did have that look of anguish on her face, and we didn't, she didn't say anything from there. Please wait. <laughs> She's sitting on her bed. Dagger. Princess? Princess, what is the matter? This is a bad joke. Yeah, Dagger doesn't strike me as a comedian. Doctor, isn't there anything you can do? What tragedy. The princess has indeed lost her voice. After all that she has gone through, the death of her mother, the destruction of her beloved kingdom, she has suffered so much pain. Yeah, the first two discs are all in, uh, it's all just geared towards trying to fix everything and just not successful. P princess. Everything that D Dagger has done has been unsuccessful. Dagger. So that's it. There's no hope. I believe this is only temporary. 
but it may be months, even years, before she can speak again. Until she can overcome her grief. So all we can do is wait. I'm afraid so. This is no ordinary illness. We must keep her heart at peace. That is all I can think of. Princess, please forgive me. Aiko, can you look after her for a while? Sure, what are you gonna do? Find Kuja and beat the crap out of him. Doc, I need an airship to find Kuja. Tell me how to turn Sid back into a human. That's the only way. Now, now, calm down. Let's go see the regent. Come on, Rusty, get up. Princess, please say something. <laughs> You're gonna have to babysit him, too. Poor Steiner. Can't catch a break. So, Quack, is there any hope for me? I'm sorry, sire. We must find the person who cast the spell to reverse the effect. Damn it! Actually, there may be another way. Long ago, I read a book on metamor metamorphosis that discussed methods to reverse the effect. Is this true? Yes, however, I don't know if it is a reliable source. The book had a rather comical tone. Is there any chance that I could die from it? I doubt it would be lethal, sire. We will simply mix three ingredients and apply the formula to your body. Let's just try it. Quack! That's easy for you to say. What are the three ingredients? Unusual potion, beautiful potion, beautiful potion, and strange potion. They must be mixed in a 5 to 3 ratio. Great, well, I hope you understand that ratio part, because I under only understand the beautiful, unusual, and strange. Oh, magicians of early times used those potions. They were all fairly common in the older times. Yes, I expect the ingredients to such a powerful cure to be more exotic, too. But as you mentioned, they are no longer popular, so I do not know if we can find them. I think Sinna has the unusual potion. That might explain some things. I'll take care of this. I'm gonna go downtown and look for the ingredients. I'm counting on you, Mark. Alright. Fetch quest! Mahema! Kinda sounds like, yeah. Sinna! I hate heights. Too bad, Dungeon Hippo. Hey, I need a hammer. Let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna go have to find one. Just throw him your hammer. Just let me borrow yours. What? No way, nobody uses my hammer but me. Oh, come on. No! No one touches my hammer but me. Fine. But I still need something to drive in these nails. Okay, I'll try to find something. Don't know why his hammer is so precious. Alright. Let's go find some potions. It's an item fetch quest. It's an item fetch quest. Ooh. It's an item fetch quest. It's an item fetch quest. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, we'll head to the to this part first. To Lindblom. I was thinking about going to talk to the Mugu again, but we already have a letter from him. Okay, now I'm nervous. Now I want to check the Mugu. All right, off to the business district. We did see Sinna in the theater district, but let's just start with the going to the second Mugu in Lindblom. I believe that letter is for them. Alright, let's head over there. Oh, hey, things are actually looking pretty good. Oh, that's right, I wonder what happened to Justin and Nicole. Maybe Nicole didn't uh, survive. Oh, I guess I'll write something. 
I've already been here a few times and I like this inn. The location is good because it's right in front of the air cab station and it's nice having a moogle around. I just wish it were cheaper. Hooray, we wrote a review and helped the owner, I assume. All right, moogle. I think I got a letter from you. Yeah. Oh, it's a letter kaboot. Yeah, it's been a while since I received one. You guys are like maybe like a five minute distance away. Alexandria is in a horrible state right now. I wonder if Koopo and Mosh are okay. Let me know when you have more info. I heard that Stiltskin was also in Alexandria, Koopo. That wasn't a very happy letter, Koopo. I wonder what's going to happen now. You got anything else for me? Nope. I'm checking one more time. I don't believe you. Alright, well. We will find the potions and see what happens. Until next time.